For those of us a bit squeamish when it comes to the business of blood, Hey Josh, how many times have you donated? It helps to have something or someone to serve as a distraction. The thought of getting your fingers stuck? Oh God, I'd rather be front row with Justin Bieber, man. I mean, that does not sound fun. <laughs> and who's drawn more blood, he says, than Pink Floyd has played money live. I just distract. Go, to, go front row at some rock concert. Just mentally go somewhere. And before you know it, you're walking out of here with a bottle of water. Scott Hubbler has been extracting blood for the past 13 years for the American Red Cross, but his job, he says, is so much more. The rewarding thing is something that a paycheck can give. Currently, the American Red Cross is experiencing an emergency blood and platelet shortage that's caused the blood supply to drop to the lowest post-summer level in at least six years. All blood is most needed, all blood, but uh, the most preferred type is uh, O negative because it's universal and we can put it in anybody. In addition, blood donor turnout has decreased by about 10 percent since summer. It's why resident and Oakdale Wellness 50 plus volunteer Polly Carlson helped organize a recent drive at the Discovery Center. There's always a need for blood and I've been giving blood since the 1970s. My parents gave blood and that probably started, my dad was the World War II vet. And so it's sort of been instilled in me through the years to do this. Carlson says the drives fill up quickly, crediting the amazing people of Oakdale for donating. People like Josh. Just trying to help out. Uh, there's a need out there for blood. And just Hubbler has heard many personal stories from clients over the years, but blood donation impacted him personally while his father was dying of leukemia. Believe me, I thank every donor for their donation because my dad was in constant need of those products for a whole year before he finally passed away. So, thank you. It's why it makes his job critical, and most other technicians agree. It's, uh, it's really rewarding, um, uh, even if you have a hard day at work, you know, and, and thing, you know, things come up and you get frustrated with just the normal day-to-day -day stuff, at the end I, I go home and I know that I at least played my part in saving lives, so that's very rewarding. The Red Cross provides about 40% of our nation's blood, yet only about 3% of eligible people donate each year. Hubbler says if everyone understood the need and the simplicity of the experience, more people might roll up a sleeve. Yeah. And usually I hear stories every day from donors. Oh, I'm down here donating because my, my best friend's daughter needs blood. Or, you know, a spouse, a family member, a son, a daughter. Um, that's what inspires people. And once they get down here, they're, they're like, wow, I thought it was more complicated than this. This was easy, an easy experience. So yeah, if people were more educated on this whole thing, we would have a line out the door every day.